Hey guys, I get asked all the time how I deal with uh, leaking tires from being split, having the rims and the bead seals leak, having big holes. You know, a lot of times when you're dealing with old equipment, it's not worth the cost of new tires to put it on it and you just want to use it. You want to get a couple more years, you want to get four more years out of it. How I deal with it, non-highway rated tires. Here you will notice not just a uh, flat tire, but a crack tire. Now. These are non-highway rated tires, they're never going to be at speed, but pretty much all you need them to do is hold air. And you will notice this, there's something to jam in there. That's not good, but that's just the, uh, that's just the outer rubber. That's just cosmetic. It does leak air, comes all the way down here, splits all the way across, but something like tire slime, and that's a generic term for it, um, will seal it. I've used tire slime. Um, I've used a lot cheaper brands. Here's one made by Rotary that actually works really good. They're all about the same. And the way they work, um, and these have been around forever, but the way they work is they have a little, it's pretty much a, it's a, it's a substance that um, actually gels as it dries, but that's not really what clogs up the leaks. It's uh, They have cotton pieces and chunks of rubber. So they have all different sizes of cotton pieces and chunks of rubber that actually get forced out of the hole and get wedged in there and clog and seal it up. And before you say cotton pieces, well, that's the only thing actually holding this tire together. Instead of being steel belted, it's uh, corded. So there's uh, fiber cords, probably made out of cotton, maybe polyester, I'm not sure, cords in there that are holding everything together. And that's what keeps the split from going all the way through. There's gonna be an inner rubber liner. There's gonna be cords glued to it in different ways. And there's gonna be an outer rubber liner. And all we're missing is outer rubber liner. So, I'm going to just use this and show you what it can do on even a split this bad. Now, a lot of people have used this stuff before, but some haven't, so I'll give you a quick tutorial. First thing you want to do with the straighter valve is remove the valve core. You can use a, a valve core remover tool, or a lot of times these things will uh, they'll come with a little valve stem with a little core remover tool on the back that you can remove the core. And that's just because you're pushing something thick in there. And stuff like this, I mean, it's actually really nice. It doesn't freeze. It says it removes rust um, from the inside of the rim. It actually does quite a bit. And I've taken it off rims before that have had this in it. And it does work pretty well. It actually, well, it cleans off pretty well if you need it to. So I'm just going to, and I never put in as much as they say. You know, this would actually take a ton. But I think they want to make money off you. So they tell you to put in a ton. Um, and this tire right here will put in probably about a, a cup of this stuff, enough to so it sloshes around, but I don't need to fill it. And this stuff will stay in there for quite a while and seal up that leak, seal up any future leaks, and keep air. That's all we need, right? And we just reinsert it. And I've never had trouble with it plugging up the the valve core or anything you know essentially this is saving me 50 60 bucks instead of buying a new tire I could probably get away tubing this but the tube still probably run me 20 25 bucks and it's not going to seal up instantly because I got to rotate the tire I don't know if you can hear that but that's leaking but all the slime stuff sitting down there, so I gotta rotate the tire. And you could do this by driving it around. I'm just gonna jack it up. And just get that down on the bottom. And it might actually take some driving around. There we go, just rotate it until I hear it go. Sealed it up. Now the best thing I can do now is drive on it because the flexing of that, you want that crack to flex because that'll force the uh, the cotton fibers and other fibers out further and actually seal it up even better and like I said I don't use a ton of this stuff I use way less than they actually say um, this probably says and it says for I've never really done it in passenger cars I don't know why you would because usually you can just use a plug and just seal it up if you got a split in a passenger car tire throw it away but I'm supposed to use this whole thing in, in here and I use maybe maybe I, I probably use maybe like that much of it so eight ounces so I could get uh, three of these I could do three big old tires like that in this and 
99% of the time it works. Sometimes it splits so bad, I have to add a little bit more, but I have never put this amount in a single tire. There we go, saved another tire, tons of tread. It'll give you the rest of the life of the tire. Don't confuse this stuff. Don't confuse it with stuff like fix a flat. This stuff is junk. Um, I guess it would fill up a, kind of just adds air to it, like a car tire or something like that. That is not the same thing. It's expensive for what it is too. I think usually it cans around like seven, eight bucks. Um, but this stuff isn't necessarily cheap either. But don't be afraid to buy no name brands because they work just as well as the, the name brands. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, leave a comment below, rate, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.